All right, so we're in section 3.7. Who cares? And we're going to talk about triangle and trapezoid mid segments. So just, just a little recap. Uh, we've, kind of, we've covered a lot of ground in this chapter so far. We started out talking about polygons, what a polygon was, um, how we named them. Um, and then we went into talking about our special quadrilaterals, our parallelograms, our rhombuses, rectangles, uh, all the properties of special quadrilaterals, the sides and the angles and the diagonals. Um, guys, let's stop talking, please. Uh, then we talked about parallel lines, parallel lines and transversals, and all the different things we could figure out when we have a parallel line and a transversal. And they're related to the polygons because our special polygons had parallel sides. Then we, then we spent some time yesterday talking about, uh, talking about angles in polygons. And a lot of those properties come, come about because, because we have parallel sides. And we also talked about the parallel postulate, which let us figure out that all the angles inside a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So, so we, we kind of talked about a lot of different things that are related to parallel lines. So what we're doing today is talking about a special segment in triangles and trapezoids called the mid-segment that ends up having to do with parallel lines. And there, there are nice things that, that happen because, because we have a mid-segment. So first off, let's <coughs> talk about what a mid-segment is. So we're going to start off with triangles. So the mid-segment of a triangle. Mid-segment of the triangle uh, is a segment that has its endpoints at the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So let's draw a picture, see what we're talking about, and some special things happen when we have a mid-segment of a triangle. So here's my triangle, and I'll draw in a segment here. We're going to call this triangle ABC, and we'll call this point X and this point Y. <coughs> All right. The properties of a mid-segment. What makes a mid-segment special? The properties are that it is, the mid-segment is is parallel. to one side of the triangle so that's one thing that's that's special so we know that if we mark this XY is parallel to segment XY is se parallel to segment BC it's parallel to one side of the triangle and its length is half the length of that side of the triangle. So XY is parallel to BC, segment XY is parallel to BC. If I wrote that in symbols, I would say that XY is parallel to BC and the length of XY is one, one half 
the length of BC. So that's what makes a mid-segment special. It's parallel to this base of the triangle, and this length is half the length of that base. The other thing that we know is point X and point Y are right in the middle of these sides of the triangle. So what we would say here is, on this triangle, XY is the mid-segment, of triangle ABC. We would say X is the midpoint of AB. Yes? When we're done with notes. X is the midpoint of AB. Y is the midpoint of AC. And we said that XY is parallel to BC. And the length of XY is half the length of BC. So we have all kinds of special things, all kinds of things that we can figure out now because we know that we have a mid-segment. This, this segment is cut in half by point X. This side of the triangle is cut in half by point Y. These two segments are parallel, and the length of this segment is half the length of that segment. So we have parallel, parallel sides we can work with, and we have lengths that we can work with. So questions about what a mid-segment is? All right, let's look at an example using a mid-segment of a triangle. So here's my triangle. Um, and we'll draw in our mid-segment here. And this we'll call this DE. And we'll say that DE is a mid-segment. If we know that BC equals 8, so this side is 8, how long is, since DE is a mid-segment, how long is DE? If this is 8, this side is half, so it's going to be 4. We can figure out that DE equals 4. So we know that DE equals 4. Um, if BA if BA is 6, how long are BD and DA? If this whole thing is 6, how long are BD and DA? 3. It cuts it in half. It cuts that side in half. Guys, if this side is 6, the mid-segment cuts it in half, so each of those is going to have to be 3. Um, I, uh, I strongly suggest that you write these examples down so you know what's going on here. Um, if angle B, measure of angle B is 50 degrees, so this angle is 50 degrees, what is the measure of angle ADB? Or I'm sorry, ADE. If this angle is 50, what is the measure of this angle? It also has to be 50 degrees because the mid segment is parallel to the side and these two are corresponding angles. So the measure of angle ADE also has to be 50. If we knew some other angles, we could figure out all kinds of things about our angles inside our triangles and the angles made by the mid-segment. 
So because we have a mid-segment, we know that this, this middle piece is half the length of the base. It cuts each side of the triangle in half. And we have parallel lines so we can figure some things out about these angles. So these are the kinds of things that we would figure out using the mid-segment of, of a triangle. Questions on that? All right. Let's talk about the mid-segment of a trapezoid. So the mid-segment of a trapezoid is almost like the mid-segment of a triangle. We just, the, the trapezoid is kind of like a triangle that's top cut off. So the mid-segment of a trapezoid is a segment with its endpoints uh, on the midpoints of the non-parallel sides of the trapezoid. So let's draw a picture of our trapezoid. Here's our trapezoid. And here's our mid-segment. And we'll call this trapezoid uh, ABCD. And let's call this XY. So XY is a mid-segment. If XY is a mid-segment of this trapezoid, the properties are um, <clears throat> X is the midpoint of AB. So this point cuts this side of the trapezoid in half. Y is the midpoint of CD. The mid-segment is parallel to each base of the trapezoid. So segment XY is parallel to BC and AD. So if we mark our parallel segments here, there are our parallel segments. And the length of XY is BC, the length of this base, plus the length of the other base, divided by 2. It's the average of the lengths of the other, of the bases. So the length of the mid-segment is the average of the lengths of the two bases. We add the, the lengths of the two bases together and divide by 2. So when we have a mid-segment of a trapezoid, the mid-segment is parallel to each base. The endpoints cut the sides of the trapezoid that aren't parallel in half. And the length of the mid-segment is the average of the lengths of the bases. So we have several things going on. We have some parallel, parallel lines. And we know some things about the lengths of the sides of the trapezoids. <clears throat> Questions on what a mid-segment of a trapezoid is? All right, let's look at a couple of examples using 
mid segments of trapezoids. So let's draw a trapezoid here. Here's my trapezoid. And we'll call this trapezoid ABCD. This is XY. And we're going to say that ABCD is a trapezoid. And XY is a mid segment. And we're going to say that AD is 10, and BC equals 6. And we want to know how long XY is. <coughs> so this side is 10, this side is 6, and we don't know this side, so we will call it X. We don't know what it is, we call it X, so we want to find X. We know that the mid-segment is the average of the lengths of the two sides. So I'm going to say that x equals 6 plus 10 divided by 2, which is 16 divided by 2, which is 8. So x equals 8. It's the average of the lengths of the two sides. Questions on that example? All right, let's do one where we work the example in the other direction. All right, so here's our trapezoid. And we have the same setup. Um, we'll call this A, B, C, D, and this X, Y. And we'll say that A, B, C, D is a trapezoid. And X, Y is a mid-segment. And we know that A, B is, or uh, A, D, is 15 and the mid segment is 8 and we want to know BC. So how are, we, how are we going to go about finding the length of BC in this example? What do we need to do? Anybody have an idea? We know the mid-segment is the average of the two lengths. So let's call this length that we don't know. Let's call it x. So we know the mid-segment, 8, is the average of the two lengths. x plus 15 divided by 2. That's the average of these two, these two bases. Now I need to solve this. I don't want that 2 in the denominator, so I multiply both sides by 2. And I get 16 equals x plus 15. Subtract 15, turn my equation around, and x equals 1. So a more accurate picture of that trapezoid would be something like this. So this would be 15, that would be 8, and that would be 1. So this is like a pyramid with its top cut off. So the mid-segment is the average of the, the lengths of the two bases. That's one thing that happens with a mid-segment segment of a trapezoid. It is parallel to both of the bases. Questions on mid-segments of trapezoids? All right. Um,